Hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. In the last episode, we got a stupid fucking helmet that our ears clipped through, and we uh, were told by Duncan, um, while during during the battle, we have to go to the top of this tower and signal, um, the light the bonfire to signal to and Logan's men to uh, attack. So, you know, that's what we're gonna go do. Oh, and of course, we walk in, and my character goes to some dark spawn. Never sounds enthusiastic to fight. I was like, oh no, there's some dark spawn. <laughs> oh no. Um, is that it? There's literally only one guy left. Yeah, when you're having four people and you're fighting, like, these easy of enemies, this game does get a little easy. Like, it does get a little easy, but this game does get a lot harder later on. Like, a lot harder. As I said, I've never beaten the final boss before, and who knows if we... If we're, if we, if we're even going to do that. That's what I was trying to say. Because, I mean, I might just have to switch it to easy to do it. Because, like, it's really, it's a really fucking hard boss. A rogue who attacks while stealth is guaranteed to care. Okay. Guaranteed to critical hit. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. Pile of bones. Got an axe made of iron. I, yeah, just had to, he had to stand there. I mean, I don't think Alistair can walk and talk at the same time. I think he has troubles doing that. Troubles doing that? You know something about that like no I know people can walk and talk but what I have never gotten is how people like have trouble fucking chewing gum and walking like like does your brain literally have to focus on one thing at a time like if anybody watching this actually has that problem like why can't you like what's the reason behind that I'm just curious like honestly I'm, I'm not trying to insult you I'm just curious and I'm off yeah I get that Glen walk Weapon stand, nothing good, but I'll sell it. Why not? Got my dark spawn. More dark spawn, eh? Uh, oh, oh, lover of their release the hounds. Release the hounds. Mm, yes, the hounds. Ooh, get them. Gotta keep missing like every single hit. I, like I don't know like why I keep missing like a lot of hits, but I do. Oh nice, yeah I got the XP for that one. So what are, what are you guys gonna do? You just gonna leave, I guess. So I think that shield that we just got is probably better than um Alistair's. Actually, probably not. Um, inspect. I meant to compare. It's not even what he has. There we go. Compare. 1.50, 1.50. Yeah, that one's better over there. But plus two damage versus dark spawn. Yeah, I'll give him that because that's mostly what we fight in this game. I mean, we fight some things every now and then that's different, but we mostly. Yeah, yeah where that? What does it do? Plus two constitution. Nice. Let's keep continue on keeping on. So this was the I sent some dark spawn. But this is the first thing here really when I said, is there anything else here? Because yeah, this is just a floor. It's it, there's just like there he is you can search and get some items. And the hounds are still following us, yay. Yeah. Nice. There's too many! Like, really, I don't think there's that many dude, to be honest. I mean, there's a herlock and some gunlocks, but not much. And again, it is Tower Guard we're talking about. Does he even have a name? It's just Tower Guard. So, see, Deep Mushroom, Acid Flask, Lyrium Potion, anything in this crate. Lesser Injured Kitten from Frost Rock. I never got the difference between like some like most things have black backgrounds, but most things have, some things have yellow backgrounds. I never really got that like items I'm talking about in inventories. I never really got that because like, what's the difference? Is one like quest item or something? Who knows? So, I mean, it's a lot of healing items. I wonder why. I mean, we already have 13. Um, I did not mean to do that. I meant to press that. Okay. What about here? Lesser injury kit. Yep. And here. 
Uh, lesser injury kit and lesser healing poutus. I keep saying I kept saying potus, but it's poutus. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's get him. Hey, we had that shield. Remember that? Oh, those were, those were good times. When you know that freaking scout betrayed me and I stabbed him like, point blank. I stabbed him point blank. Yeah. Oh, that chest is locked. It looks like it might have some good things in it. Oh, you fell down. My character actually is very cocky. And I don't know why. Give me fucking need my bud, but don't need no dud. Have you guys seen that? Have you guys seen the fucking Shrek rap? That is like the best thing ever if you've never seen it. Just look up Shrek rap and it's like the DreamWorks channel and they did this really... Oh, uh, I'll talk about that later. Oh no. Look at that scar on its like left or uh, no right back. It, to my left though. Hmm. As I was saying, speaking of ogre, like if you've never seen the Shrek rap before, I highly recommend I'm actually gonna activate uh this for this fight. But I, oh shit, he's attacking me of course. But I highly recommend watch it because this is, it is one of the best things ever. Stop attacking me. Attack like tower guard or something. Nobody needs tower guard in their life. But yeah, it's one of the best things ever if you've never seen that. And there's a line in it that goes, um, it's not really a line, it's more of like a verse, but it goes um, Give me mud, be my bud, but don't need no dud. I'd be rocking this vest because I am original stud. Of course, I enunciated it more than it should have been, but it's still a great rap nonetheless, so I really recommend you watch it. And when I say great, of course, I'm being sarcastic because it is the stupidest fucking thing ever. Oh, yeah, but something important to. Th oh. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, I'm pretty sure he's dead. The beacon is open. Okay, what did he drop? Havertz, Aegis, Jordyman, Lightning Ruin, and a lot of gold. Surely missed the signal. Let's I have a feeling. Um, I think I don't. I don't think I can equip that actually. No, I can't. Is it better though? Yeah, it definitely is better. So. Alistair, you can have your, um, your Templar shield back. Oh, hey, just hold on, I gotta search these barrels. I probably have really... A tribal necklace, it's a gift. Gifts are gifts you can give to your people so they like you more. So, you know, they're kind of good. And let's light this bitch already. This bitch, I mean, this beacon, not bitch, am I right? That didn't make any sense, so whatever. Sound the retreat. But what about the king? Oh no. Do as I command. Oh no, he's betraying us. Of course he is, because he looks... <laughs> the Brock eyebrows, man. They got him good in this game, but who does he look Help! like? He reminds All me of somebody. You, you have a lot of troopers. You probably could have won. We probably could have won this battle if he didn't. Why did he even do that? I mean, clearly he did it because he wanted to become the king, so he killed the, killed the king. If I was in there, I'd be like, oh, thank God, I did not want to die today. Ooh, yeah. We got a good tag team match going on here. Watch out! Oh, no. We took that thing down. Oh, what a great spit in his face! Like the king would just like spit in his face. That would been great. But no, he's dead. I mean, he like crushed his spine. Oh, he's pissed. He killed his lover. I wish I could have done that that easily. He's 
he's definitely injured. One of the dark spawn overpowering him. Oh no, he's dead. The guy we knew for like two seconds. Wow, they are getting their ass kicked. I mean, Tower Guard did better than them. Dead. Watch out, Alistair. Oh no! <gasps> no! Not Reginald! Not Reginald. Anybody but Reginald. Combat stealth, the rogue. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, it's Morrigan. Oh. Ah, your Ooh. eyes finally. Who boy? Mother should be. That is not a sight I thought I'd be seeing today. I am Morrigan, lest you have forgotten, and we are in the wilds where I am bandaging. I just said that you're the girl I met in the wilds. You are welcome, by the way. Thank you. How does your memory fare? Do you remember Mother's rescue? I remember being overwhelmed by she rescued me from the entire way. What happened to the army to the king? I remember being overwhelmed Mother by the dark spawn. Mother managed to save you and your friend, though it was a close call. What is important is that you both live. The man who was to respond to your signal quit the field. The Darkspawn won your battle. Wow. I mean, we already saw that, but wow. Your friend, he is not taking it well. Alistair? Okay, you mean, my friend, you mean Alistair? I need to get out of here. As you like. Mother is outside with your friend. She wished to see you when you awoke. Can I have some clothes? Thank you for helping me, Morgan. I... You were welcome. Though Mother did most of the work, I am no healer. I have some questions if you don't, yeah. I do not mind. Take your time. Oh, you're very nice. Are we safe here with Dark Spawn? Why did your mother save us? Yeah, how did she manage to... She turned her? into a giant bird and plucked the two of you from atop the tower, one in each talon. If you do not believe that tale, then I suggest you ask Mother yourself. She may even... Yeah, that's actually true. I'm just going to say that right now. Is there, why did your mother save us? Or, yeah, why did your mother I save us exactly? Myself, but she tells me nothing. Perhaps you were the only ones she could reach. Oh. I would have rescued your king. A king would be worth a much higher ransom than you. Hey, listen. Yeah, I happen to be royal blood, you know. Yeah, much, much higher. What a sensible attitude. Mother is seldom sensible, however. Um... I think I've asked those questions. I don't care about anything this time else. You speak with mother, then be on your way. Oh, you really want me out of here, don't you? Oh, thanks. You gave me my clothes back magically. I'll take that and sell that. You daft. Don't think so. You daft. You daft? Who are you talking to? Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Gotta keep the skulls out for when guests arrive. I mean, that's just the main thing they want to see is just skulls and bones laying out on a table. Ooh boy, I mean, I got my skulls right here with me. I haven't had guests in a while. I wonder why. So, Alistair, I heard you're not taking it well. See, here is your fellow Grey Warden. You worry too much, young man. You? You're alive? <laughs> I thought you were dead for sure. It takes more than a few darks, but I'm very appreciative. Are you afraid you're going to be left alone? The Grey Wardens. Even the King. They're all... Who boy? Oh, this doesn't seem real. If it weren't for Morrigan's mother, we'd be dead on top of that tower. Do not talk about me as if I am not present, lad. I, I didn't mean... But, but what do we call you? You've, ne you've never told us your name. name is Flemeth. Names are pretty, but useless. The chastened folk call me Flemeth. I suppose it will do. The Flemeth? From the legends? Daveth was right. You're the witch of the wild. Oh, don't bring up Daveth. Don't mean? make me remember again. I know a bit of magic, and it has served you both well, has it not? Yeah, definitely. I suppose we should think we can't be safe here. Yeah. If you know what is good for you, I suppose you should. Um, so, yeah, why did you... I kind of actually want to figure that out. Why well, did you save we us? We cannot have all the Grey Wardens dying at once, can we? Someone has to deal with these dark spawn. 
It has always been the Grey Warden's duty to unite the lands against the Blight. Or did that change when I wasn't looking? <laughs> change when most of them are slaughtered, the Grey Warden's no more let someone else do it. The land is hardly united, thanks to yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he do it? Now I mean, that's he's a dick. Question. I mean, why? He's Empires just a dick. Old shadows darker than any tainted creature. Perhaps he believes the Blight is an army he can outmaneuver. Perhaps he does not see that the evil behind it is the true threat. The what, what does that mean, I'll be Archdemon? Um, what could the Tyrion? Well, he's gonna free. He wants to become king. Got, we help us. I'll show us where we here. Then we need to find this Archdemon, yeah. Ourselves? No Grey Warden has ever defeated a Blight without the army of a half dozen nations at his back. Not to mention. I don't know how. How to kill the Archdemon, or how to raise an army? It seems to me those are two different questions, hmm? Have the Wardens no allies these days? I... I, I, I don't know. Duncan said that the Grey Wardens of Orlais had been called, and Arl Eamon would never stand for this, surely. This is, this is some important perhaps we, could, we should go to him, then. I suppose. Al Eamon wasn't at Ostagar. He still has all his men. And he was Kalen's uncle. Ooh. I know him. He's gonna take He's that. He's a good man, respected in the lands. Mm. Of course, we could go to Redcliffe and appeal to him for help. That's not gonna work. Um, so he doesn't help us what then, yeah. You have more at your disposal than merely old friends. Of course, the treaties. Mm -hmm. Free wardens can demand aid from dwarves, elves, mages, and other places. They're obligated to help us during a blight. Uh, the dwarves, we're not on, we're not on good, uh... Elves, mages, this Arl Eamon, and who knows what else. This sounds like an army to me. Again, so um, Go I, um, and these other places and not on good terms with the... Well, let's not give errors, let's doubt yeah, as easy as that, as long as we're profiting that way. It's not... And that'll be easy as that, yeah. <laughs> and when is it ever? It's always been the Grey Warden's duty to stand against the Blight. And right now, we're the Grey Wardens. Yeah. So you are set then. Ready to be Grey Wardens. Yeah. So as well, I'd, be, I'd be happy to just stay in. Ha! 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 We're going, old woman. Don't put us to yes. Thank you for everything, Flemeth. No, no. Thank you. You are the Grey Wardens here. Not I. Now... Before you go, there is yet one more thing I can offer you. Your daughter's Excuse virginity. Me, mother dear, shall we have two guests for the eve? Or none? The Grey Wardens are leaving shortly, girl. Oh, and hell yeah, I was daughter. right. Such a shame. What? <laughs> you heard me, girl. The last time I looked, you had ears. <laughs> oh. -ho. Her magic will be useful. Even better, she knows the wilds and how to get past the Horde. Have I no say in this? You have been itching to get out of the wilds for years. Here is your chance. As for you, Wardens, consider this repayment for your lives. It was a sure Pardon idea all me. along. But I had the impression that you two needed assistance, whatever the form. Well, I don't think she saved our lives to just to... Uh... Look a gift horse in the mouth, but won't this add to our problems? Out of the wilds, she's an apostate. If you do not wish help from us illegal mages, young man, perhaps I should have left you on that tower. That is Point true. Taken. Mother, this is not how I wanted this. I'm not even ready. You must be ready. Alone. Your body must better be ready. Ferelden against the dark spot. Hey yo. They need you, Morrigan. Without you, they will surely fail, and all will perish under the blight. Even I. <gasps> Not you. I understand. And you, Wardens. Do you understand? I give you that which I value above all in this world. I do this because you must succeed. Uh, okay. I understand. Allow me to get my things, if you please. A human, a dwarf, I am at and a witch. Disposal, Grey Wardens. Sounds like a comedy. The village north of the wilds is our first destination. It is not far, and you will find much you need there. 
Yeah. Or if you prefer, I shall simply be your silent guide. The choice is yours. Um, I have no problems with pros and sorrows and the I prefer you speak your mind. I think we should get things out of the way. I have no problems with your presence if Alistair doesn't prefer you speak your mind. You will regret saying that. Yeah, Dear probably. Sweet mother, you are so kind to cast me out like this. How fondly I shall remember this moment. Well, I always said, if you want something done, do it yourself. Or hear about it for a decade or two afterwards. I just... Mm -hmm. Do you really want to take her along because her mother says so? We need all the help we can get. Right. The Grey Wardens have always taken allies where they could find them. Yeah. I am so pleased to have your approval. I should just get things Farewell, underway. Mother. Yeah. Do not forget the stew on the fire. I would hate to return to a burned down hut. Oh, tis far more likely you will return to see this entire area, along with my hut, swallowed up by the blight. I... All I meant was... Yes, I know. Do try to have fun, dear. Yeah, we have a lot of fun. Oh yeah, we did good in that conversation. I... well... The nature of the beast. Oh god, so many, so many quests. Hold on, we gotta see these real quick. Why, how close am I leveling up? Damn it, not even close. Okay, we need to see the the, the quest real quick. I think it's under here. This one, uh, the blight current current quest. Oh, that's it. Oh, here we go. Oliver to the paragon of her kind. That's the wars of Mars battle. Nature of the beast. Dalish clans and broken circle. I, uh, well. We're going to end this episode off here, and, um, yeah, so we've gotten Morrigan and Alistair Blight. It's not been defeated, unfortunately, and we're off on another adventure with, um, Reginald Ardukin, I-I-Dukin, and his legendary schnoz. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode.